Testing, testing, one, two. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, I'm very excited as we're going to be using an Android-powered device, which is basically the same as the Oculus MetaQuest 2, using the Pico Neo 3 Pro 4K DP cable, so it would be the equivalent of using the Oculus Link, for example, and comparing it to see how much better it is with, you know, when using the HP Reverb G2. So do go and check out the video in our in the channel. I'll put a link in the description below also as I uploaded some gameplay using the HP Reverb G2 yesterday or the day before. Now, talking about HP, guys, do remember to enable the bell after you subscribe, as I will be detailing upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers on the channel how to potentially win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP and also a brand new pair of cyber shoes sponsored by cyber shoes game keys for the meta oculus quest store steam store and viveport store whatever you want and more so do stick around for that all right so by the way for those who you know are regulars to the channel you do know that i did receive a new power supply very recently so this is why i wanted to do another comparison using the pico neo 3 pro with the 4k dp cable as i had some screen door effect last time i wanted to know if by replacing the power supply these issues would have actually gone away or whether it was actually a hardware on the vr headsets you know as to where it came from so without further ado guys Let's jump into the VR and do remember timestamps in the description below and pin comments also. All right, so we're inside of After the Fall VR using the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is owned by ByteDance. So who knows if the next VR headset will actually be called a ByteDance VR headset. Now, I don't know if you see on the screen, but for me, there's a tiny little bit of screen door effect with the Pico Neo 3 Pro compared to the HP Reverb G2. So do enable the bell after you subscribe because I will be doing some through the lens comparisons in terms of you know what the experience is like. But I have to say it's really not bad. The clarity is pretty good. It's pretty out there. Definitely very, very similar to the HP Reverb G2. However, I still feel that the HP Reverb G2 is is still better so it will be it will not be so much my pc vr go to headset but it's just interesting to see how things are getting closer and closer so yeah hp i hope that you're going to be releasing a new headset next year because of course competition is definitely starting to you know come come closer to you okay so uh, you just press both grab buttons at the same time move your arms up and down to adjust this part here and then we take the gun again you just use the grab button to to play to Calibration use the gun Welcome and then to the line. a friendly reminder to report to a hub sec officer if you require medical assistance thank you all right so cool so yeah i can definitely see some screen door effect i think I don't really see as much when I'm using the standalone Wi-Fi VR experience. So I think it's more perhaps to do with the software instead of the hardware. Because as I mentioned, when I'm using the wireless streaming to my PC VR to the computer without the cable, I don't really see so much screen door compared to when I'm using the TV 4K cable. Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? So now, of course, when I did the HP Reverb G2 video, I was able to go into my menu, but here I don't seem to have... I don't have the button to show my main menu. So... Ah, there we go. Okay, so I have to press down the thumb using the touch controllers of the Pico Neo 3 Pro instead of the uh, HP logo button on the HP headset. So let's just test and see the sound. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? No, can't hear me. Let me see if I can change the... Um, The settings of the actual microphone settings audio okay so I don't have an option to change 
the actual microphone and knowing what microphone it's using. So all the settings are here. If you want to know more about all the different settings, please go and check out the HP Reverb G2 video I did uh, yesterday or a couple days ago. As it will give you all the details that I went through one by one. Uh, generally for the graphics, I do put it, by the way, on uh, 1024 by 1024, and I'll put the quality on half res. It's absolutely good enough. No need to bump it even more. Otherwise, the gameplay could do some lagging. All right, we're here. All right, cool. So let's go to the exclamation point. Here we go. So you're going to go to harvest survival mode. So basically, this is this arcade is where you can choose your map. So this will be the different maps that are available at the moment. So I go to harvest, and then this is the difficulty. So I go to survivor mode, and survivor, and then confirm. So you just press the trigger, this one here, to confirm you know your choices. And then searching for various different different things. If there are other parties available, you can go and join the parties. If there's no parties, you'll be playing with some AIs. All right, and it's the game is loading. So I have some sort of blue screen or something that's loading on my screen. OK, my Steam VR is loading. Now it's gone white. All right, now we're inside. Welcome to your first harvest run. Let's see if they the can hear us. Simple. Go through the route, kill as many snow breed as you can, collect their harvest, and come out the other end in one piece. This here is a safe room. You can use it to either heal up or stock up. Okay, use so those modified see? machines to get the good stuff. Good luck out there. So you see where it says AI, so that means that basically Michael is an AI, Jim is an AI, Jen's an AI, and instead of AI, you'll see if people come from different uh, VR headsets, you'll see Oculus logo, you'll see a PSVR logo, just different logos. So this is where you are before you start the game. Now, for the controllers, very simple. If you press and hold, where you're holding the gun, the grab button, and then you use the other grab button, the other hand, the gun will automatically go to the other hand. So press and hold, and then use the grab button on the other hand. Got to reload. Press and hold, and then use the other grab the gun will change. If, however, you're not pressing and holding on the gun and you just use the grab button on this hand, the hand will go underneath and then basically you can, you know, do this. I have to say that the graphics are really, really good using the Pico Neo 3. Wow, it's such a, a change from the, H, from the Pico Neo 2. It's just absolutely amazing. And there's definitely not as much sweet spot, a much more sweet spot in the Pico Neo 3 Pro compared to the HP Reverb G2 which really increases the clarity by a mile, but because there is some screen door effect, and I can see that, I still prefer the HP Reverb G2, but my God, this is better. Wow, this is really amazing. I, I guess it would be as close to the Oculus Quest Meta Quest 2, I would imagine, because you would it's exactly the same headset. So, wow, this is pretty phenomenal. I have to say, I'm very, very impressed for an Android device, really, really impressed. All right, so change the gun here. Now to change the um, the bullet, all you have to do is press on the A button. Got to reload. It goes on the floor. Then you use your grab button with the other hand. Go to your ammo holster. And then, okay, and then now there is a trick. So just put it a bit to the side. Bring your hand because it will snap automatically when it snaps. Boom, bring it up, and then use the grab button again by putting your other hand on top of the gun. Don't press and hold on this hand, whatever hand you're using to hold the gun. Don't press and hold any buttons. Just use the grab button from your other hand that's not holding the gun, and boom, it'll go here. Then pull towards you. One bullet is enough, but just to show you what happens is like so. All right, and then you can, you can go. All right, so before we go inside of the game, we're just going to go in here, use the grab button, and then you'll see up here there's some credits, so you can buy some stuff. Now, 
do be aware that when you lose, if you, there's a game over, you get killed or something, and you come back into this game, this place here, uh, you will lose whatever you bought if you did not use it. And they will not give you your credit back, so they'll just take it away from you, which I think is really, really a shame. And then what you can do is you can put it here, like so, and then just put it there. So I don't have enough credits to buy anything else. Never mind, I bought the wrong thing. I wanted to buy a juice booster because that's what you will need the most. I'm so impressed with the graphics right now. It's just really phenomenal. Oh man, if it wasn't for that tiny little screen door effect I can see. Uh, if, it's so, if it's a software thing, I really hope they fix that because, oh man, it's just so sweet being here. Really, really cool. Gameplay. Please stand clear of the door. I will try my best not to move the uh, the head, my head too much. And if you press and hold on the thumb, you will actually run. Breaking time. We've got several tame inside for a runner's farm, Snowbreed. Make your shots count and watch around. Alright, let's do this. Great shot, Maria. Reloading! Good, wow. I mean, the graphics using the Pico Neo 3 Pro, I am so impressed. I'm really impressed. Because the sweet spot compared to the HP Reverb G2 is so much wider that I really feel like I'm much more, I'm actually more immersed, but because of the screen door effect, it makes me a little bit uncomfortable, which is really, really annoying. It's a shame. Okay, where are they? Absolutely amazing. Wow, that was very good. That was very cool. I'm just really, oh man, I mean, I've, I've been playing on the HP Reverb G2 for so long and I'm just so impressed with the Pico Neo 3 Pro and also the, the software, the DP Assistant software to the PC is actually working really well also, as you can tell. Now let's just look at some of the graphics. As you can see, you can, you can see the detail of the blood on the wheel. Still medium poly because the wheel is not round, completely round, of course, but it's much better than Population 1 already. And you can still see the blizzard with the snow going over there. I mean, it's very atmospheric. You really do feel that you're inside. Let me just see if I can polish the graphics a little bit. So let's go to interface. Gameplay? No. Video. Okay, we got a video. I'm going to put it on times four because times four is actually better than times two. Texture quality, we can bump it up to. Let me see. Full res. Let's just try full res. And then that's it.
All right, cool. Now, there's going to be a spoiler, so do look away, please. Got to reload. All right, spoiler. You can look again now. So every time you kill a zombie, you need to go towards those things. It will give you some credits. Wow, the graphics are just really, really amazing in the Pico Neo 3 Pro. I'm having a lot of fun in here. I have to say. Good one. Uh. Reloading. Oh man, it's so much fun. Just this little screen door effect, which it's not as bad as the Oculus Quest 1. I don't know if you guys have the Quest 1. Definitely not as bad as that, for sure. It's much better than the Oculus Quest 1, of course. So I can't, this I can't have, okay. But yeah, the G2 is still my go-to PC VR headset, I would say. But I'm having a really awesome experience here with the Pico Neo 3 Pro. So the only, the only uh, problem in this game is the changing of the, the reloading. It does take some time. So you have to bring it to your belt, otherwise it won't go inside. See here there's a little bug, I'm trying to keep it up, but for some reason Okay, there we go. I mean, the graphics are astonishing. Let's just look very quickly. You can see the fog here in the torchlight that he's showcasing. Some nice sprites there. I don't know if it's sprites or if they're actually using particles, but you can tell that they're moving inside, so it's pretty cool. And then the textures are just really nice. There's still quite a lot of jagged edges compared to the HP Reverb G2, I have to admit. When I was in the HP Reverb G2, I didn't see as many jagged edges, but guys, do remember to enable the bell after you subscribe. I said we'll be doing comparison graphics using the HP Reverb G2 and also the Pico Neo 3 Pro with some through the lens footage as well and not using the actual footage recording from the screen itself. And guys, do also remember that we are doing a giveaway of a brand new HP Reverb G2 a brand new pair of cyber shoes sponsored by HP and cyber shoes as well as a $50 voucher to game keys whether it's for your meta quest store your steam store or your viport store so do make sure you enable the bell after subscribe as i'll be doing the announcement of how to enter this competition at 9,000 subscribers all right so where's my gun okay there we go oops so yeah, the graphics are pretty cool. Definitely a step up compared to Arizona Sunshine, for sure. Of course, it's not exactly like Half-Life Alex. See, so look at this guy, still alive. All right, let's go and kill some more zombies.
I had some bombs, but I'm not quite sure where they went. Some more ammo. Oh, the graphics are super sweet. I love the colors and the textures in this game. They've really done a great job. Seems like we've already killed everybody in here. Alright guys, so do look away as there will be another spoiler right away, so look away first. And then I'll tell you when to look back again. I'm not scared of the dark room, but... Alright, you can look again. Spoiler is finished. hit the head as much as possible uh, because of course that is the best way to actually defeat the zombies. If you are near uh, something, I'm trying to grab the bomb. You see, it's a bit hard to grab it. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe it's a little bug. Okay, there we go. See, a little back here. I'm not able to to grab the bomb, even though I'm looking down. I can't grab it for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. a great shame. Let me try for another angle. Oh, there we go. I got it. So I can put it on my wrist just by going towards my wrist. And I let go and it goes directly here on my wrist. And then later I can pick it up, press the trigger, throw it. And it will, of course, explode on one of the zombies. So I really love the fact that you can play with other people in co-op mode. Reminds me a little bit of Population 1, of course. Because you can go and do other things and let your squad members kill the zombies for a little while. Take a break if you want to take a little break, of course. Or you can be in the thick of the action at all times. I love the environment, I love the music, oh, and the special yes. effects are really good. Reloading! So my RTX 2070 is handling everything really nice and sweet. In fact, just to test it out, just to see what happens, let's uh, bump up the graphics even more just to see how far I can take things. So basically, we're now going to be at maximum completely. I don't really see that much of a difference, to be honest with you. I still see some jagged edges here and there. But I love the different field of the fog at the back over there. It's really awesome, really cool. All right, so there's another spoiler alert, so please look away if you don't want to see. All right, you can look again. I 
push there were some lens adapters to the HP Reverb G2, uh, sorry, the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Really nice explosion there. I really enjoyed that. It's so easy to throw stuff with the uh, controllers of the Pico Neo 3 Pro compared to the HP Reverb G2. Uh, when I use that HP Reverb G2, I'm just not comfortable throwing things whatsoever. The controller, the way it's designed, is just not the right way at all. Okay, guys, another spoiler. So do look out, look away now. Sprawl is gone. All right, we can look. Uh, you can look again. Amazing graphics. Just really, really good stuff. One more clip left. I'm out. I need ammo. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Always dead. Just at the right time. Alright, he's dead. Oh, nice. Look at this. Look at that. Reloading. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Whew. That was really, really cool. Oh, man, I can't wait to uh, do another recording with the uh, standalone, standalone version, which means wirelessly streaming to the PC to see the differences. But I have to say that even with the graphics at full res and full everything, the PC is doing really, really well. I'm very happy about that. All right, let's uh, continue the game. All right, so some more spoilers, guys, so do look away now. The sprawl blockade clear. All right, you can look again, guys. I mean, look, look at the detail inside of here. It looks really amazing. God, if it wasn't for that little screen door effect, it would be absolutely perfect. Oh, it's such a shame. 
I don't see it as much when I'm streaming wirelessly to the PC. It could be due to the compression though. But it is otherwise really amazing. If you don't have an HP Reverb G2 and it's your first time in VR, this would be absolutely fine. You wouldn't need an HP Reverb G2. However, if you wanted the perfect PC VR experience, then I definitely recommend you would get the HP Reverb G2 instead of the Pico Neo 3 Pro, even if you are an enterprise. Guys, there's a face scanner here. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I really like how to do that. Take a breather. You made it to a safe room. Here you can stock up on boosters or ammo or use any floppies you found. Keep in oh, mind that if you spend harvest now, you'll have less to deposit at the end. It's up to you. So let's see if there's any floppies around. Do we need floppy disk? mentioned that we needed some floppies so I'm not quite sure let's just test again no nope, we can buy directly so this is a juicer booster which basically will help you to replenish your energy Wait up, I'm healing. there we go and I'm gonna buy another one and I'm gonna put it in my wrist like so and then let go of my grab button boom then let's see if we can buy a bomb. And then I'm going to grab it with this one. And then put it here. There we go. All ready to go. Let's continue. All right, so you can tell sometimes there's a little disconnect. That's because basically uh, what's going to happen is the game is going to cache the next session. I'm just going to round because, of course, I'm using the DP4K. A cable and I just don't want to be entangled. I love this. Really amazing. You feel so immersed inside. It is really crazy, guys. Harvest time. All right, let's go. Let's do this. You see these things? You can actually shoot them. So there's a lot of zombies. You can bring them. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. Great shot, Malia. Oh, so many of them. Okay, let's go inside and kill those zombies. a lot of zombies guys Some more where are they oh no oh thank god I had my teammate there absolutely insane I mean, look at these graphics everybody that's all wet which is why you can see the graphics as they are really crazy I would say in terms of comparing it to Walking Dead Saint Sinners Walking Dead is still a little bit more polished I have to admit but as I mentioned it really isn't a bad job at all they've done a really really good job so I need the key card so I can't connect with it oh no, I can't. So you can't put two items inside, so I'm going to have to hold it. Until we use it a bit later, I guess. I mean, look at the detail here. Inside this bathroom. 
you really do feel very immersed inside. I mean, it's very, very cool. See the shadows on the wall here? Really awesome. If you guys have a Pico Neo 3 Pro, definitely get this game. You're going to have a lot of fun, for sure. The other difference between the HP Reef 2 and the Pico Neo 3 Pro is that there's a little bit more of a gap under my nose, so I am more aware of... Here they come. Ah. Great shot, so I'm a little bit more aware about my surroundings below when I look, when I'm looking down. With the HP Reef 2 the nose is actually blocked, so there's completely no light whatsoever, and you are fully immersed. But it's still okay. I mean, of course, it's not that bad, so it's all good. Ah, look at this, man. Now, you can't interact with the actual zombies when they're dead. You can't, like, try to take their head or anything. If you try to do that, if you try to do that, your hand will actually... Well, normally your hand... Oh, you can interact with some zombies. Okay, that's new, because I wasn't able to do that before, funny enough. My hand would go through the zombie. Maybe you can interact with the gun, but not the hand. Oh no. I can actually... Oh wow, this is a big difference, because with the HP Reverb D2, when I tried this, I wasn't able to move the zombie or touch the zombie. Everything went through the zombie, so... Maybe it's only specific zombies where you can actually do this, and not every single zombie. All right, let's uh, continue on our quest to kill zombies. We have to go down, I think. Watch out for those ceiling crawlers. They have a tendency to drop in unannounced, if you get my meaning. So always look at your health bar just to double check you know, how things are going. Look, you can see the steam here is really, really good, really awesome. Ah, oh, there's more over there. We we'll probably have to go through a whole bunch of different things, I imagine. Reloading. Good one. Where are they? Oh wow, he was right next to me. you hear that little ding ding, that means that you have finished. You have a floppy disk here. Oh. Put it here, there we go. Oh, another gun. Service pistol, so now we have two pistols. But it's really hard to reload pistols when you have two in the hand, in the same hand. Virtually impossible, in fact. I do feel like my head is much more smoother when I'm using the Pico Neo 3 Pro compared to the HP Reverb D2. I feel like there's more stabilization when I'm inside of the game. But I have to re-watch the actual footage after recording, of course. Now guys, I am using 
OBS to do the recording as well as playing with the DP VR assistant for the Pico Neo 3 Pro and also, of course, running Steam. So a lot of stuff is running at the same time. My machine, which is an RTX 2070, RTX 2070, i7-9700K, with a Hero Maximus, Hero 11, is handling it like a beast. All right, I think I have to use... Snow breeder here! Oh. Reloading! Reloading. So it seems that they fixed the reloading with two games because two days ago when I tested the game using the HP Reverie 2, I was absolutely not able to reload with two guns. And now I am. So I think Guns that's a great scanner. thing. I think that's a great Area thing. Cleared. So I think that's an absolutely amazing thing that they managed to, to fix that. All right, so I'm going to take the disc and put it in here. Successfully collected floppy. Now survive till the end to claim your reward, OK? So let's buy another juicer booster. Found a booster. All right, and I can't buy another one, so it's going to have to make do with this. You can see the detail of the chairs and everything. It's really, really awesome, really cool. Oh man. Some jagged edges going on here when things are loading. Harvest time. And then they stop. That's better. Stop blinking. Reloading. So sometimes, of course, if you think you're low in ammo, you can let your team be the one to shoot them and then you can, you know, just go about your day. I mean, the graphics are really cool. We're outside again, of course. So if it wasn't for that little, little piece of screen door effect, it would be absolutely perfect. Yeah, okay, here they are. up there so guys there's going to be another spoiler now so do look away and i'll tell you when to look again gone. okay so you can look you can look again and then look away again guys another spoiler Look again.
All right, so guys, it's going to be another spoiler. So look away. Scroll went away. All right, guys, you can look again. So look away again. All right, so you can look again. Snowbreed. See the creek coming down. Snowbreed, where? I see. So let's just do some ammo, because we need more ammo. There's another one down there. So you can go around, you can shoot them again, they, they replenish from time to time. Alright, so guys, do look away, there's another spoiler now. Guys, you can look again. Here they come! So there was a lot of them. Let's go and get some more ammo again. We need as much as possible. I have to say, I am feeling quite comfortable in the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Uh, but sometimes I do feel a tiny little bit creepy because of the um, little screen door effect, unfortunately. All right, there we go. So now we can go in the container. Now there's uh, some more spoilers, so look away. Gotta reload. Sprawl went away. All right, let's go and get some more ammo just in case. Now you can do, of course, locomotion using 34. I prefer to do smooth locomotion, but everybody have their own, their own ways. And this specific level right now, I mean, does feel quite claustrophobic. I have to admit, with all the fog and the wind, you know, it can feel quite stressful. So very well done in terms of immersion and giving that impression to people. All right, let's do this. That took me a few shots. Nice one. Reloading. I haven't gone this. Uh, I think I, I went a little bit further. All right, team. Get ready for the big one. This place is Snowbreed Central. Alright, 
time for some serious harvesting, guys. So this is the final boss. So guys, look away. It's a memo. Ammo full, all right. So for you so that you can all live and you know continue the story otherwise that's it you're done and I'm gonna show you what happens after you die where you start again I mean this is a great shame that uh, I died after one punch we're almost there almost there oh I'm back no defeat so uh, we all lost, we're all dead, unfortunately. So let me show you where we start again after you die. So you get to vote first, and let's say that we vote to continue the current event and not to return to the main hab. 
So you can also remember that we are giving away a brand new HP Reverb G2 and also a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes. $50 game keys to your MetaQuest or Steam Store or Vivepol Store. So do make sure you hit the enable bell after you subscribe as I will announce the competition entry details upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers. Welcome to your first harvest run. So we're back in time. Go through the route, kill as many snow breed as you can, collect their harvest, and come out the other end in one piece. Please, so let me show you. You can use it to either heal up or stock up. Let me use show you where you start. machines to get the good stuff. Good luck out so, there. So basically, I just wanted to show you where you start after you die. And as you can see, we're starting from the beginning all over again. So this is the, the part that to me is a little ashamed in, in, in the game. The fact that you have to restart completely from the beginning. It's like, oh, I think I'm done. I'll try again later another day. So I think, I think that's basically because 20, 30 minutes in here, you're done after a while. I've probably been in here for maybe 45 or an hour. I'm not quite sure, but it seems like it's been quite long. So let's go out of VR and I'll give you my final thoughts. So guys, as you can tell, using an Android power device as the Pico Neo 3 Pro with a 4K DP cable is actually pretty awesome. I had a really, really good time. I really love how the sweet spot is very large and you can really cover a lot of bases when you're moving around your eyes inside of the VR headset. If it wasn't for that little screen door effect inside, ah, oh, it would have been absolutely perfect because it is noticeable, noticeable, especially when you have a lot of fog around, very heavy or darker kind of areas uh, you can see it but I have to admit wow the the experience was really awesome it's not my go-to PC VR headset but definitely very very close to HP as I mentioned in the videos before or along the gameplay mm, they have they better release a new headset very soon because the technology now is getting super 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 close. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Do remember that upon hitting the 9,000 subscribers, I will announce how to enter the competition for you to win a potential HP Reverb G2, brand new pair of cyber shoes, game keys to your Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport store, or Steam store, and more. So do make sure you do reshare the video on your Twitter, your Reddit, your Facebook, and all your various social, social media so you can reach 9,000 subscribers as soon as possible. All right, guys, I'll see you in the comments below and in a very new video very soon. All right, guys, take it easy. Bye.